Hi, Jim Gore from Thor Wealth Management. This week we have bad earnings coming out from two major retailers, Target and Walmart. And we think this could be a bellwether of what could happen here uh, for corporations in the United States. And what do we mean by that? First of all, you have to look at what has happened with profit margins. And this is looking at profit margins for companies going back to 1930. We like to use this chart because it's long-term, but we also realize that it only goes through January of 2020. The Federal Reserve gets this data and it is a little bit delayed. Um, if we took it to 2021, there's been a number of other studies that have shown that profit margins actually rose again in 2021. So they were higher than this chart and the highest that they've ever been. But the big thing about this is if you look at from 1980, 1990, you look at that arrow, profit margins for companies have been going up. And because of that, profit margins going up, companies are making a lot of money and stock prices went up. But the bit, you have to understand what the big driver of profit margins going up has been. And the big driver of that has been wages, the growth in wages have come down. So you look at from 1980, which is the last time, um, you know, the end of stagflation in 1978 to 1980, that's the last time that we saw wages rise significantly. And you can look at that arrow, wages, uh, you know, were steadily declining as a, the growth rate. But what has happened here recently, you can actually see wages shot up significantly. And we think we are in an era that wages are going to be pressuring companies. We're seeing that with more unionization, with Amazon, um, with Starbucks. Uh, you're starting to see uh, Kroger, uh, some of the uh, unions are now starting to want to renegotiate. Uh, watch the LA ports here. Uh, they're gonna have negotiation of wages coming up here next month, uh, which could cause some more problems at the port. So employees are actually asking for more money well, that trend of wage growth going down is reversing, which we also think would cause an impact on corporate profits, but it's just not uh, wages that are causing problems. Uh, another big cost for companies is energy, now, whether it's they're doing their manufacturing within the company, but also delivering their goods. And you look at this, this is diesel prices. Notice here that they've shot up significantly here recently, um, and that big reason for that is the war in Ukraine. Um, so we're up to $5.61 for a gallon of diesel, which is the highest it's ever been uh, in the United States. Uh, so you're seeing diesel costs, the cost of freight is uh, getting a little bit more expensive. Target came out and said that that was a billion dollar uh, loss that they uh, occurred in additional uh, expenses that they did not anticipate. But note here though, you know, even though it shot up here recently, freight costs were actually going up before then. And you can see here that the freight costs have gone up 125% since you know, 2004, with the majority of that being in the last two years. But the big thing is you saw an increase here recently, but freight costs were going up significantly before then. So if you're a company, you're having in the increased cost of goods. You're having higher wages, you're having freight costs that are coming to you because of this. And you know, remember, you're getting things shipped to you, so those costs of goods are going up as well. You have to determine if you can go ahead and increase prices enough to cover those costs. Obviously, Walmart and Target were not able to increase their prices enough to cover those costs. And that's why their earnings come down. Well, if companies cannot increase their prices enough to cover their costs, and they may not be able to do that because if you increase it too much, that causes people not to want to buy and all of a sudden sales drop. So this is a you know, phenomenon here that we've had a 30 year, 40 year run where corporate profits were going up because labor costs were going down. We think we're in a new era that you're gonna see labor costs actually go up. We're seeing that with the unionization and it's something that people have to be wary of, but it's gonna impact all corporate profits, except expect corporate profits to go down. Corporate profits go down, the premium on the stock market comes down as well. 
If you have any questions or concerns, as always, reach out to us at our website. And if we can help you at all, uh, let us know and we'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Take care.